Invested in Conversation brings us together with those who know firsthand how community issues are playing out on the ground. In this series, our guests speak from their own experience, lift up their community's grassroots solutions, and share their ideas for building and bolstering a more equitable and resilient region. For most parents, access to high quality childcare is already a challenge. But securing reliable childcare for young children outside the traditional nine to five work hour is even more difficult. The equity implications are particularly troubling since low wage workers and workers of color are those most often needing care outside traditional hours. We interviewed four mothers with at least one young child over the summer of 2021. We wanted to know, do parents choose these schedules? Are jobs with non-traditional work hours the only options available to them? How do they feel about the choices they must make in order to meet their care needs? And how do their families feel about the impact of these choices? Our hope was to capture the experience of parents who grapple with this particular obstacle to inform better care solutions. Each of the four moms we spoke with had different reasons for working non-traditional hours. One new mom, Jeannie, said that changing to a job with non-traditional hours was actually an attempt to solve her childcare needs. Jeannie had a graduate degree and previously held a leadership position, but changing her hours meant accepting a new role, which came with a significant pay cut. She deemed the added flexibility worth the loss of income, at least initially. I provide childcare throughout the whole middle of the day and then drop off my son to his father who provides childcare in the evenings uh, prior to me starting my workday. So I think when we were thinking about the, the time that we have available and the type of work that we both do, it, it made sense. Splitting your days sounds like a good idea. Four months into it and experiencing it, it's, it's actually pretty hard. We've also had a lot of conversations just about um, potentially hiring home-based care or doing a nanny or a nanny share. Those childcare providers are used to working like eight to four, nine to five. They're not necessarily looking to provide support from two to nine, because a, a, a lot of the nannies that we've spoken with have families of their own or obligations in the evening. So some of the things we would have preferred to have done aren't actually compatible with the schedule that we have, which is why we've stayed in splitting days for as long as we have. Working non-traditional hours helped Selena, a mom working in food service, for different reasons. Since one job didn't pay enough to afford stable housing for herself and her family, she hoped to take on additional work after hours. But working a second job meant she would need access to reliable childcare in the evening. Currently, I only work mornings because that's the only time I have childcare. Um, I need a night job to keep up with the bills and to even get an apartment, but I can't can't because there's no such thing as and as night care. So it's tough when you need the care and it's not available. It's, it's most certainly stressful trying to find alternative care because you always risk losing your job. Being a single mother, it's very hard to try and juggle a job. The children safe and fed while trying to maintain financial stability. I'm currently in a shelter, so it's nearly impossible to try and secure a good job. It definitely sends me into panic attacks because when a last minute call out happens like that, I just, it just gets me nervous on like, what can happen the next day? What if they can't go back and I have to call out two days in a row? Because in that moment, you just don't know who you can call. And then when you really have nobody, it's just like, wow, what am I gonna do? And you have no other choice but to just watch the kids for the day. It's depressing, it's stressful, it always has my anxiety on high alert. My kids are all I got. For two other mothers, working non-traditional hours was partly the norm in their work areas. Jenna worked full-time teaching ESL classes while also teaching afternoon and evening classes to supplement her income. I actually just today had to decline a class for the fall semester because the class starts at six and daycare closes at six and my husband gets off work at six so there's no way to make that work. My schedule changes every couple of months. I had to just today write the dean and say I am not going to be able to accept this class because I 
am not able to pick my son up late from daycare and my husband isn't able to either. And I asked, can I bring my son to class for the first 20 minutes until my husband can pick him up? Of course it was a no. <laughs> so I, I unfortunately had to turn that class down. And that's a really big deal because this is where I get a lot of the money to like pay my student loans, right? That's my extra. So yeah, it's an extra job that maybe one could argue, oh, you don't need it. Yeah, I do actually. There is absolutely a vulnerability to the situation even when you have childcare because there are so many contingencies that could go wrong. I would need daycares that are more flexible with pickups, drop-offs, and their opening hours. I understand that they can't necessarily do that, but I find it hard to understand that there are just no options for that. that are, like, I, how come there's no daycare that caters to that? What about shift workers, right? Not to mention people who work until 10, which many of my students do, so I know that there's a need for this. How is that not part of the market? Melissa, a single mother of six children, worked evenings as a technician in a hospital emergency department. Her shifts were dictated by the needs of the hospital and varied week to week, including late night shifts. So she relied heavily on her mother for childcare to fill in gaps not covered by school or daycare hours. My mom is very helpful, but she is a lot older. Her kids are already grown. So she looks at it as it's her time to kind of have her alone time and relax and I have a lot of kids so I can understand that part but at the same time I have to work. At work there is no on-site child care services which is unfortunate because they do give us a hard time about switching our schedules or if we have to last minute call out or adjust it in some kind of way. I often feel like I have a very heavy weight on me. I have six little people that rely on me. Unfortunately I do care for them on my own. I do have a good relationship with my mom. My mom does help me because she's my mom, but it's like pulling teeth. I don't like to ask her for help because it's that situation. I do wish daycare was a little bit more available for different hours. The working moms we spoke to long for a childcare system that allows flexibility so they can contribute to their family's economic security without the need to make difficult concessions. The way childcare is funded in this country, through a mostly private market, constrains the supply of accessible, high-quality care, even during traditional hours. Parents whose work hours mean they need childcare outside of the traditional 9-to-5 workday often find there are no childcare centers offering care during those hours, and must rely instead on family or other providers. My daycare person that I have, she's wonderful. I love her. My kids love her. But I just wish that there were some more resources especially for the weekends, longer hours, so that way I didn't have to bother my family or hire someone else to take care of my kids. I definitely would use it. I wouldn't have to hear the lectures from my mom or the complaining, which would be great, and it would be reliable. I wouldn't have to worry as much. I had to turn down many jobs because I didn't have the support or the child care being open that late. So I feel like maybe if daycares were open to like maybe six or seven for parents who get out during that rush hour are able to and you know don't have to take down job opportunities because they close so early. Not having a support system at all has definitely stopped me from achieving goals that I want to achieve. And you know, as a mom, it's, it hurts to say that because in a way it sounds like, oh my gosh, my, my kids are in the way of me achieving my goal, but you know, a little help can go such a long way. I so strongly believe part of the solution to the childcare problem in this country is flexible working options because some women do want to work a full time schedule or even more than full time, and they should have available, affordable, accessible childcare. And I should not be forced to choose between being an employee and a parent and doing both of those well. Access to reliable and safe childcare options outside of traditional work hours would be a life-changing support for these mothers and their families, enabling them to keep their kids well cared for and to fully participate in the economy. 
Employer policies and flexibility also have potential to offer more support to parents working non-traditional schedules. These parents' stories are unique and only give us a small window into families' needs. More research is needed to better understand what motivates needing care during these times and what supports parents would utilize in order to right-size policy and solutions.